Did not Milai demands apology from Peter Obi over a rise TV debate. Ad buzz. Says Labour Party presidential candidate needs maturity. Imagine. See who is telling somebody that he needs maturity and he is the one behaving childish. You that said calling someone who is from another party, Peter will be people. What does this supposed to mean? You have been saying all kinds of things all this while against Peter Obi, how he cannot win election, how his party this and this and all that. This man had never answered you. He's a human being for goodness sake. Now you are saying you need apology. Apology for what? Well, Nigerians have reacted to this. Peter Obi on Sunday night got angry and lashed out at Milai during the presidential town hall session organized by Arise TV in Abuja. Hello guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. May God bless you all. The spokesperson for the People's Democratic Party Presidential Campaign Council, Senator Dino Milai, has demanded an apology from the presidential candidate of Labour Party, Peter Obi. Peter Obi on Sunday night got angry and lashed out Milai during the presidential town hall session organized by Arise TV in Abuja. The drama started when one of the attendees stood up to question the presidential candidate and Dino was heard saying, now wow, Peter people. <laughs> on hearing Dino's utterances, Peter Obi snapped at him. Stop that, Dino. Why are you always calling me? I won't take that. This man is from ANPP. Why are you calling him Obi people? A visible, angry Peter Obi said. However, Milai on Monday said, a person being for Nigerian's president must be calm, noting that he did not do anything to Peter Obi. He said a a Constantant for the presidency should not be reacting in such a manner to the public, stressing that Obi would become like the Delta State Governor. He said he was not provoked. I was seated far opposite the top seat where they were sitting. I did not mention his name, and I was really surprised to see that that type of outburst from a presidential candidate. Is that the type of president he is going to make? Just taking on people and showing on presidential characteristics. I did not do anything. So that our boss is all warranted. Every presidential and honors, very presidential and unacceptable of a leader. A leader must be matured. One who wants to govern this country must be accommodating, must have a, a lot of patience, must have pre- Zavant. These are basic characteristics of a leader, a leadership everywhere in the world. Milai said in a video posted on his Twitter page on Monday, you want to be president of Nigeria and you are reacting in such a manner in the public. This one will slap ADC for office as president. So I want to clear the air. There was nothing. I did not do anything to him, he said. So provoked and carried away by the performance of Governor Okowa, I deserve a serious apology from the former Anambra State Governor. He was so provoked and so carried away by the performance of Governor Okowa that he was saying that somebody out in somebody outside is from A N P P. Does that make any sense? Is there any party like the A N P P in Nigeria today? Next time, when you want to go for a debate, be as calm as Governor Kowa. But that was, that was very unpresidential, and I deserve a serious apology, he said. <laughs> oh, my God. He thought he can continue to be, you know, insulting Peter Obi behind the camera in a public debate. He got what he deserved he was one and he took his place immediately. If I were Obi, I would have totally ignored that riff rag called Dino Milai because Obi's attention has been him. Important. I thought like him does not even deserve being in a meeting with Obi. 
he should have gone to meet Olomo and his principal. That is where they belong. Bart ran away from the debate because he does not know what to say. Hagidi ran away from the, from he knew that people were bombed, bombard him with so many questions, ranging his age, drug business, fake bishops, shaking hands, state of origin, his real name, and so many others. God forbid, but because we are obedient to God Almighty. My anger is that any little thing where he will start fainting or climbing tree, why not respect yourself? Honestly speaking, eh, this country is just a cruise. In a same country, Dino Milai is not even supposed to stand and talk and talk. This is somebody who always fake fainting in the court. This is somebody who carry um what is it called? That neck neck, I don't know what is it called. What is it called? That neck uh, controller that the uh, EFCC broke his neck. He will come with stretch to the court. This is whether not drama, drama king, I won't call him. I don't know what it will be. This man does not supposed to be talking in the same country. But because this, every one of them are corrupt, you see them speaking. All these things he's just doing is because he wants to be relevant tomorrow if article wins. If not, what is there? After eight years of President Muhammad Buhari in Altana, and they want article to be there. And why do you even want PDP to come on board? If Duno Milai can tell Nigerians why PDP should come on board, after 16 years, what did they do? You understand? It's because this PDP, this uh, APC uh, administration is worked. That is why people are, are talking about PDP. If not, all of them are all corrupt. The, his principal, he's telling us his party is corrupt, but APC is more corrupt. You can imagine. You can imagine what they are saying. Well, I don't have much to say concerning this. I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Share and like.